Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Monday. Happy Monday to you. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a combo video. Part of this video is sponsored by Nordstrom. I'm going to show you a Nordstrom haul, and some of it I've been using, and so I can tell you exactly what I think. And then I thought at the end I would do a question and answer type thing. Just some questions that I've gotten a lot lately, and I felt like it might be better if I just go ahead and talk about it on a video. And before we get started, this is my hair, like air dried. All I did, Brooke and I went to the beach yesterday, and I was going to stop by my parents. I always go over to my parents and have some type of dinner or something with them on Sunday night. And so I, let's, I'll skip all the the details I ended up coming home first instead of stopping by there and taking a shower but I wanted to get right over there so I thought well it was so hot outside oh my gosh it was one of the hottest days at the beach it was it was stifling hot but I still loved it so I got home and I washed it dried it no washed it conditioned it put all my stuff in it and I just combed it out straight like before I would do before I blow dry and I didn't, you know, shake it. I wasn't really trying to promote it curling. I just kind of was curious what it would do if I combed it out and then stopped there. And so this is it. And really, it's not that bad. I'm really surprised. I mean, of course, it's still frizzy, but my hair is frizzy. So anyway, that's, that's what this is. That's what this kind of crazy hair is. But, wow, it would be good to be able to do this maybe like every other time because think about cutting out all that heat from the blow dryer and heat from a curling iron. So just a thought. Some things that I wanted to show you that I've purchased and then some things that I have been loving lately. Just, you know how I am. Just pretend we're sitting down as friends and I'm talking to you and telling you about some things that I like. First of all, when Brooke and I were walking yesterday, I said smell that it was the beach was real crowded yesterday because I guess it's like hey Chanel it's kind of like July 4th weekend the weekend before and also on Sunday it's just really really crowded and so I said ooh do you smell that Chanel that's rude <laughs> that's classic cattail isn't it <laughs> anyway um, I said ooh smell that copper tone and she said, oh, yeah, I love it. It smells like Bobby Brown Beach. And so today I thought about that, and I put on my Bobby Brown Beach. If you love the smell of the beach, and I don't mean like some beachy scents, you know, or citrus this and, oh, the smell of the summer sands and all this kind of stuff. If you want to smell and have that feeling of being at the beach, Bobby Brown Beach is the best. I just put it on. I have been through bottle after bottle. I have the sunscreen spray. I've had the body oil. I've got the lotion. It's just one of my all-time favorites. So I really wanted to kind of tell you about that again. Then these sunglasses that I showed you that I got at Nordstrom on sale. They are uh, Ferragamo. I love them. I love them. They have lived in my car which only really good sunglasses get to live in my car because ones that I just, there's a lot of my sunglasses I really love, but they might not be comfortable. They probably don't go with every look. You know, I might still love them, but they're just not, you know, ones I would just keep in my car. These are, and I've been wearing these to the beach and they are really good. I mean, they, they still are plenty tinted, even though you can still see your eyes through them a little bit. But because they're big, it just, I feel like it really protects like around your eyes. And I've worn them with a hat. I just really, really like them. And I looked and there are still a color. I think it's the brown ones. This particular color scheme is sold out, but there are another, another one, another uh, combo that is still on sale. So very light, they're just really good sunglasses and very, I've got lots of compliments on these too. Then I wanted to kind of circle back, I've been showing you so many bronzers lately, I kind of wanted to circle back and tell you what I think of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed bronzers. I have got number three, which is the tan, 
I have got number two, which is the medium, and I have got number one, which is the fair. And number one, I used today to set my makeup. So it is just almost like my skin tone, but it still has that airbrushed. If you like her powder, the airbrushed flawless powder, you know, regular, I guess, translucent type powder, I use number two, you would love this for setting all of your makeup. It has that same like silky, silky finish, but see how it is just more like a finishing powder, but yet it's very, very smooth. And I, I really like that. So if you're looking for something that's not, especially in the summer, sometimes we need a translucent powder that is not so, I don't know, that maybe adds a little bit of color, something like that. And then number two is what I started out with to kind of, you know, I always like to use a powder like this to kind of start my contour. And this is what I use this for. And then to really, so if you're someone who just wants to bronze, number two would probably be enough for you. Like if you're just wanting to have your makeup match your body, you know, you're using bronzer to adjust your typical foundation, you know, you're wanting to darken it a little bit for summer, this would probably be good for you. But if you're like me and you like a true bronzy contour, then I think this is the one for you. So this would be number three, tan. So just like everybody says, they're beautiful, but I think they're almost, you know what I mean? They're, it's not that they're not pigmented. It's just almost like you might need to go up one if you're really wanting to get that bronzy, bronzy look. So that's what I would say my final opinion is on these bronzers. They're beautiful. I love the packaging. It's very like old Hollywood, like Charlotte does. And today I have on my cheeks, have you noticed that I have lots more color on my cheeks? And that is because I finally ordered the NARS blush in, let's get the correct name, Orgasm X. I've been loving the, for years, before YouTube, I've always loved Orgasm blush. But this is the one that packs a little bit more punch. You can see it's brighter and brighter and I feel like it's way more pigmented, but it's probably just because it's brighter. The regular orgasm, I can kind of, you know, just like really get into and really put on my cheeks. This one was the type that you kind of dot your brush into and you kind of place on your cheeks. But it's beautiful. I think it's really pretty, especially if you are somebody who really loves bright blushes. I think you would love this. I kind of kept it on my cheekbones. If you were to bring it in, of course you would see it more, but love it. Love it. It's nice to finally try it. I've been curious what this looked like forever. Okay, and then these two sets of things I am so excited about. One are the new Dior glosses. There's like quite an array of different Dior lip products. One is the one I showed you the other day, which is the uh, 563, and this is the, I can't remember, this one is the Stellar uh, Shine. And I'll swatch it again for you. Beautiful, beautiful lip color. Just so vibrant and pretty, you know? And then, these this one is the this is number 334 oh i should have kept the boxes i just threw them away um one of them is the stellar glaze and one is the stellar balm so this is number 354 and it's that good just classic milky nude color and they have these good fat little wands on them and this is for my light lip lovers out there and my hands have gotten so tan that just happens very easily with me but this is kind of like that they both have like that balmy beautiful texture not too sticky but you know really lip hugging and then the one i have on today which is easier to see this one is number 630 and this is a nude color and it is so pretty i'll put some more on And I have on the, I didn't put anything on my actual lips, but the lip liner I have on is the Chanel, um, it's a brune something, nude, brune, nude, or something like that, but I'll put it down below. I got it at Nordstrom also, and here, I'll swatch it for you just to see if you can see it. A lot of times with glosses, it's just hard to see, but what I like about this is it's that kind of brown, 
plummy nudie brown that like if you were to put this on with a mauve lip liner it would give you a lot more of the mauve tone but just beautiful 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 glosses then another thing that i have been dying to try and i finally did and it is the gen nude eyeshadow palette just like the rose palette that i love so much probably one of my all-time favorite palettes and this is the neutral in that same category and i used it today it is so gorgeous you guys it is so just it looks like when you look at it you think oh it's another brown eyeshadow palette and it is but i have i used every color i don't think i used this color or i don't think i used this one i started off with this in my crease kind of doing my v shape then I used um, this one on the lid. Then I used this lightest one on the inner corner. And then I used this right along the lash line and then the outer corner. And then I used the Dior Brown, Matte Brown liner. And I just love it. It's beautiful. These palettes are just gorgeous. I would assume that probably every one of them is pretty now that I've tried two of them. They're just gorgeous. That native color if you like like those tones like mac wedge you know those tones you are going to love that color even by itself i could have just put this in the crease and gone it was just so pretty they're just smooth they don't flake all over the place and um i love them and they do have a mirror so super excited about that and i got a few other things that's the thing about nordstrom is like just with this order i got something a home item I got a pair of shoes, makeup, and I got a couple of clothing items I want to show you. So that's, I did it all. So hold on just a second. So as you guys know, we are not, I hate to say remodeling, but we are doing some, some remodeling. We might do some floors and stuff, but we just painted in here. We're still waiting. That's one of the questions I wanted to answer. We're still waiting on our sofa. When I called again, I was like, okay, it's been six weeks. She said, oh, um, yes. She didn't say we were waiting for you to call, but she made it sound like she was waiting for me to call to get set up at the local delivery and so and to make an appointment. I was like, okay. She said, well, we have free July 8th through 15th. I was like, okay, I'll take July 8th. And she said, no, it's a window. So anyway, it should be here sometime soon. John also got a new recliner. And um, so what was I going to say with that? Okay. So we're getting those things. We got painted and we're doing some other stuff. And it's so funny. We've lived here, I guess, 19 years now. And I can remember when I first moved in here, a big thing I used to decorate with was palm trees. I had a palm tree, kind of like that Tommy Bahama look, um, you know, comforter set. And just like always, things just come back around because I've just gotten kind of back into like the palm tree decor. I tell you, going to Miami, that was one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. I could live there, definitely. I mean, I loved it so much. And now we're watching Dexter and I feel like I get to, you know, look at it all over again. But so I saw this online and I just loved it. I just love how, I love the frame. I love how it's kind of faded. I just love the whole laid back look and it's already it's by denny designs and there were several different prints i just chose this one and i didn't get it to really hang on a wall because it's kind of small i got it to kind of set up somewhere or um i don't know i don't know what i'll do with it yet but i've learned that when you see something you really like get it and it's going to fit in it might you might not you know necessarily get to bring it straight home and put it somewhere but you eventually will find the perfect place for it so that's what i did and i do love it i just i love everything about it and something else i ordered i you guys know how i get i see a picture or i see it can be anything it can be a person it can be a an ad in a magazine it can be instagram pinterest of course you know all the things that are supposed to influence us i saw a picture on instagram and i know i saved it so i'll try to put it in here but it was one of the people I follow on Instagram, and she was evidently on this, you know, it's like, you know, fantasy world, on this balcony, probably in a faraway resort, and she had her 
I think she just had on like a either a robe or a white t-shirt or something on and she was kicked back I don't know if she was reading a book or the paper but she had her feet up on the railing and she had some shoes on that kind of looked like this and I just fell in love with that whole like vibe and I ordered these and my intentions were when I was at the beach you know to just I don't know I don't know if I kind of thought I might try to recreate that picture and I thought no I probably can't do that because it, it was a true beach house that we stay in it's not like glamorous or anything but I got them and I love them so much that I'm going to keep them and I'm still going to go for that look with this I just love these and I think anytime like even just going out to lunch or going out to dinner I just think with a black dress or a white dress or even like today I have on a really cool little black jumpsuit you guys know how much I love the whole all black with white and these to me just look so chic I'm sure the ones that she had on were just you know crazy expensive but these are Steve Madden they weren't that much to begin with and they are on sale and they come in lots of colors including like the clear ones so I'm gonna wear these today to show you you know what they look like on then the last thing I ordered is this blazer I could not resist it it comes in a couple of different colors it has like a little bit of padding on the shoulders which another thing that came back around you guys I had the best blazer years ago it was in my 20s i loved it it was when i first got in it was when pretty woman came out and i had to go get that black blazer to wear like she did at the end of the video when she like looks down at him coming up the fire escape and i got rid of it because i got rid of it when shoulder pads were so out you know they were so lame now i wish i still had it so just remember things do come back and a lot of stuff it doesn't come back you know like what you have won't be exactly right so if it's too trendy it's good to get rid of it but when it's just something good and basic i could definitely wear that blazer now but anyway this one i just liked because it had the shoulder pads i love this nudie pinky mauvey lavender type color it's just that really sexy nude color that i like and i love colors like this over black dresses so i got this to wear over like my little black slip dresses and then you know a little pair of black sandals you know to a restaurant or something okay guys so this is the jumpsuit that i just ordered from nordstrom and i've been wearing it all day and it's very very comfortable uh, you can it does have a tie in the back where you can pull it tighter but i kind of like it a little bit loose and then these are the shoes that i was showing you can did you want to show anything else yes and then, here, hold this for me, my lovely assistant. And this is the blazer. I love this. It's lined and really silky and it just like slides right on. And I love the color. And this would be perfect for like, if you have a little black dress that you wanna wear out to eat, this would be perfect to take to a restaurant to just like put over, even just put over your shoulders. And it's also great when you are not feeling really good about your midsection, a blazer is perfect to put on and I love the color. It's perfect length. And then the bag that I got <laughs> is from Nordstrom and it's from Topshop. And I just thought it was so cute. I thought it would be the perfect going out bag. I would use this anytime I wanted to. And this was the pink one. I think it came in a few different colors. Always make sure you look at the Topshop bags. They always have cute bags and cute shoes. And so these are all my new things from Nordstrom. Okay, so now I thought I would answer just a few quick questions that I get a lot. And I'm gonna go way back. I'm gonna go even back when I was thinking of what things I wanted to answer. One of them was from way back around Christmas time. I had several of you ask me, where was my Christmas tree? That I did not have a Christmas tree. And I was thinking, how do you know I don't have a Christmas tree? Like right there, which I really did have a Christmas tree. I had one in front of the fireplace. It was beautiful. It was exactly what I wanted. To me, my family, we have, we're growing up. My daughter is 20, my son's almost 17, and I didn't want that just stuff everywhere. You know, we used to put a Scooby-Doo you know, thing out every year, a Scooby-Doo stocking that you squeezed his ear and he said something. I mean, I love that stuff when it was that time, but now I'm just loving the whole 
simple, simple, like kind of like if you ever, if you go on, if you look at my Pinterest, you can go on like my Christmas tree ideas. I love, I love when the Christmas tree doesn't have any ornaments on it, but I didn't want to do that. I wasn't going to go that far, but what I did is I got a very small Christmas tree. Brooke and I went and picked it out. I like the ones that are kind of, you know, I don't know. I always feel like the ones that no one else is going to get, the little abnormal ones. And I got a huge, white, beautiful pot to put it in. And we did the um, just beautiful lights, twinkle lights. I did them across the mantle. And then just a few of like the white ornaments. And I loved it. I loved it just as much as any Christmas tree. Do you guys remember when I had the like 10 foot tall Christmas tree back here? So it's not that I don't like that. It's just not where we are right now. And I just really enjoyed it. And the next thing I've had a lot of people ask me is about my ring my engagement ring and um, am I getting a new band why am I not wearing my band and I've even had people ask me because if you look back in my old old videos I had a diamond wedding band that had you know it was like a, a wrap and I even at that point had it soldered on because it wouldn't stay together and um, so and then I got I didn't like it anymore I wanted just the simplicity of just my band that I got married with and my diamond and now I got to the point where every time I saw someone who just had a engagement ring on I just love the way that look that looks and I always loved when I just had an engagement ring on and mine's got lotion in it right now and it's killing me let me go clean my ring real quick I didn't really clean it properly but I just um, used my dishwashing detergent and um, here let me put it so it'll focus on it but I just love the stone. John took a lot of time and effort. He really just like researched and he ended up working with a jeweler. He bought the stone separate. It is a like VVS one. It's like almost perfect, you know, and I don't know what the color is, but, and yes, we do have it insured. And, um, so I just love my diamond and I just love the way they look without it. So one night I just asked John, do you care if I, you know, don't wear my wedding band? I just love the way the diamond looks by itself. He said, I don't care. So I did it and I just loved it. I just love how pretty it is. So that it wasn't anything crazy. It's just that I just love the look of just the diamond. And I'm very much married. I've been married, what, 21 years? So that's not really that's not really a thing with us he's not worried if I don't have my band on I'm gonna run out or anything okay so then the third thing is do I wear a mask when I go out I've had several people ask me Lisa do you wear a mask of course I do when I go in the grocery store or anywhere that I need to wear a mask I do I don't wear a mask like on the beach because we don't have to and the wind is blowing and I'm not close to anyone but yes I do wear a mask I typically I've bought like some fancy ones um, and I've got some different ones. I even ordered a couple, but typically I like to wear the disposable ones because I get lipstick and makeup on them. And so what I do is I just wear them. I, I have them in my car. I have them in my purse. I have them in like one of my totes. And that way I always know I can pull out a mask if I need to. So yes, I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Nordstrom for sponsoring this and I will see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.